Hello everybody and welcome back to Tectopia. Last episode we built this awesome smelter and we needed it to smelt all the bricks for our schoolhouse that we are currently working on and see I'm not holding my rockets. No, I haven't anything yet. So this is the schoolhouse and library. We hop over here, we have a nice little staircase, a couple doors to get into the library, and then we'll have bookshelves all over the place in here, and if we hop through here, we will have the schoolhouse, so I just need to get the walls built up, and a roof put on, so let's hop into super fast build mode, and build ourselves a library and a school. Alright, the schoolhouse is now done, and actually I need to grab the token real fast, so let's do that. I've already moved the library inside, so let's grab an item frame, uh, and, and then the school token. And I also finally got around to getting in a rancher hat and enchanting it. So we now have that, and we're looking absolutely fabulous. I don't know why I made a diamond helmet instead, but we, we now have the rancher helmet. Or rancher hat. So now if we... Actually, I don't, I don't like putting it there. I want to put it there. And there we go. There's a schoolhouse, and on the other side you have the library tokens, so you can only see them from in here. So we don't have any tokens out here, which is... I, I find that a lot nicer. It's just... It's like, I can just have them right there, and it works perfectly fine. And we have room for four enchanters. Uh, and I'm slowly filling out all the books. There's definitely going to be overcrowding in this building. It's just, it's kind of how libraries and schools work. It's, you're, you're kind of expecting there to be some overcrowding. And overcrowding the happiness loss is actually not that much. So most of the villagers can just go to the tavern and regain their happiness. Which eventually we're going to have to head taverns. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want to design the second tavern. But I have a couple of ideas. Um, but for now, what we need to get going is the smithy. Which I buy that token by any chance? Hopefully I did. Actually, we can also let's see. Okay, do you have this maybe a couple of butcher tokens on that? Um, let's get do that. 
What do I just want to do? Network. We'll just do a bunch of the ones. Six villagers. Which I believe uh, that house is all full. Come on. There we go. Um, which house is the one that had six beds? It might be this one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Oh wait, there's a farmer in here. Okay, guys, claim your beds. Okay, so that should be your bed then, right? Alright. Here's our first children! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is this the The children are absolutely terrifying when they're sleeping. Oh my gosh. It's still a thing. Okay. That is very much still a thing. So, let's, I'm going to get some blocks together and then we can start working on the smithy building. Alright. So, what I kind of want to try to do with this is kind of start forming some sort of cave around it. So, I don't know. Just, I guess we can, uh, Try to start building the edge of this. That's going to be fairly steep. Um, I like it might come out further in some parts. Come back in. Um, I really should switch to the silk touch pickaxe right now. That would be ideal. Um, So that's basically what I'm going to do, and then get that terraform over it, and then inside I'm just going to do what I've been doing for the paths for the floor here, and then I've also installed some fancy redstone, and of course the second I test it, it doesn't work. Um, Oh, because that's not supposed to be a block. There we go! So basically it allows me to access all the furnaces, but sometimes I don't want to access all the furnaces, so it just throws glass in front of them. And then, this is also the same level that the floor is actually going to be on. Which means I can just set up basically a floor right in here. And actually, oh, that's interesting. Actually, it's the hoppers in here. Then we have the floor, and then up here is going to be a bunch of stairs. That way, I can actually hide all the redstone behind a wall. So let me get to work on at least this back facade, and then I will be back with you. Our children have all grown up. I just realized that there were nitwits wandering around, which means it's time to give them jobs. There we go. Uh, farmers. So I want two farmers, two ranchers, one cleric, and since we have six, I guess I can make one to a butcher. Um, let's see, I want the highest level one to be a cleric, so that one's level 38. It might be easier to find them all if there's a, a sleep door, please. Um, 25, 19, okay. Those are actually fairly low. I would like those two to be the ranchers. Okay, where did they go? Um, 16. Okay. Or not range. Farmer. You can be a farmer. Who else isn't the brightest person here? Uh, 25, 37. Decent. Uh, we'll make you the butcher, I think. No. Butchers. Thank you. So you can be the butcher. Um, 
19, you can be a rancher. Let's see, there should be two more wandering around. Keyword there being shoot. Ah, there we go. There's one. Um, 38. You are going to become... That scared me. I almost misclicked on the uh, villager there. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. 28. You are the rancher. Now, where is the one I want to make into a cleric? There we go. There you are. Cleric. Oh, level 21. That's actually pretty good. Why can you not find a bed? You should be able to find a bed. Also, why am I hearing a zombie? Uh, is there like a cave right here? No, but there is iron. Uh, that is scaring me. I, why is there a zombie? How is there a zombie? Where is the zombie? Oh my gosh. But dude, seriously, your bed is over there. How, how are you not able to find a bed? Um, what do you want? Oh! Oh no, 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 no. Is there not enough? There's not enough weed anymore. Yeah, I need to get that butcher going. Because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, okay, like, when I have to actually start harvesting all these crops myself, that's when it's like, okay, I probably should get some more farmers. Although, I just got two more, so maybe... Maybe... Oh! I know what the issue is. Um, you, farmer, you may not harvest... No. You may harvest only wheat. There we go. That might help a couple things. Although the wheat field is the largest one, so they should be prioritizing that. But hopefully this amount of wheat will help out the ranchers a fair amount. Um, uh, how much? Okay, we're getting. Oh shoot! No! 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 Um, where is no enchanters? Do not enchant these books yet. These are for the. Actually, you can enchant them now. But like, uh, why were you enchanting the books? It's, uh, okay. Yeah, this is turning into an absolute mess. Um. Seeds should be fine by the looks of things. So it's the wheat that we're having issues with. Yeah, they're all just dumping the books into chests. Okay. Anyways, I probably should get back to work on our nice little cavern. Uh, that block's going to start annoying me now that I've noticed it. And the blacksmith, or actually it's the smithy now, is completely built. I'm just filling up all the water buckets. And what are you... Oh. Oops. Um... Why is you? Okay. Oh no. 
What are you trying to do? Um, excuse me, no, 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 not... Yeah, all the obstacles might be a bit of an issue. Um... I mean, you assume they just paddle these things properly, but I guess not. They, they jump over everything. But... I still have to uh, make sure that everything was going to work, so please... That's right. Um... Should be fine. Let's check all the other furnaces. Okay, he got out of here safely. That's good. Okay, this one's also light. I'll have to check the light levels all after this. Uh, any more kind of carpets? No, okay. Okay, um, is this still a valid structure? <laughs> Maybe remove two blocks. Um, yeah, this one's like pushing the limits. Actually, question. If I were to just like that. Okay, yeah, it totally did. Um, still valid. Still valid. Are you still valid? Nope, okay. Uh, let's just force check it. So I need three slabs in here somewhere. Or three holes in the roof. Uh, let's see here. Where can I put these slabs? Put like one there. Um, if this chest was full stuff, I'd probably put one right there. Actually, put one there, and then we'll put one there. And that should be 50 blocks of floor space. And actually, we need two more for the chest. So let's just get those out of the way then. Uh, one, um, two. What are these forging? There's a bunch of diamonds. Maybe. Let's see. I don't want diamond axes or swords or any armor right now. Um, same with armor, I think. Um, also, don't craft iron hose or... Oh, you can craft diamond hose. That's interesting. Don't craft torches. Everything else is good. Okay, what are you trying to do now? Um... Dude, that, that's a cauldron. This is just... I want to have these cauldrons here, but... You're gonna make it so I can't. Um... I'm gonna put carpet. That didn't help anything. Um, let's see, iron trap doors. Maybe those are expensive. Okay. Can I get five? I totally can. If this doesn't work, I'm certain I'll be able to find use for them in the future. Okay, stop trying to stop it. Doesn't look like that's gonna work. Also, it takes away water, so it's not ideal. How am I going to get this guy to actually? I mean, besides the fact that I just lost my water, I could probably get that there. I could try to keep these guys a little bit more out of the way. That might help a little. And once again, I said to get rid of the water. I'll try to keep it there. So we'll see if that fixes the pathing. And... Nope! Come on! Fly! Fly! If we come in here now, maybe? Uh, did, did, did I just see a skill? Um, I don't know. I can't tell. Use the blacksmith and I got him, so... Okay. One more water. Where's one that needs water? Four. Where's number five? Um... There, over in the corner. 
So hopefully that fixes the issue. Also, hopefully we didn't break anything on accident. It's still about structure. And yeah, this is, if we come actually back here, this is all the redstone, so. Like, I need a door over here. Oh wait, I need a door for the building. Uh, just put two and two together. Like, okay, there we go. And that means we can have this open doorway, which, all right, I did blend it in a little. Yeah, the only thing I now need to do is come through and just crack open bits and then put an andesite. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll see. That should hopefully make this thing look a lot nicer. We'll see though. So we've gotten all the texture variation put into place. And I also decided to bring up some form of uh, smokestack, which I don't have any bone meal. I have um, some ink, but I don't, I don't have any bone meal. And I'd like to get some glass coming out, um, but I don't, I don't know if, how feasible that would be. Actually, I have my ink with me right now. Um, I can do, I'm thinking doing a little bit of black in the center. So maybe if I take just this stack and convert it to black stained glass. We hop up here. I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> hop up here. Do, what do I have? Any form of scaffolding? Um, grass. There we go. That'll work. So I just do something like. this as a central column and then surround this with other types of glass to get it to give it a nice um, fogger sort of fog effect I guess how would that look as opposed to just doing straight up cobwebs It could work. Alright, now now to find some white dye. And all the smoke's now in place, and here's what it's looking like. Now that one right there, I like that one the most. Um, I don't I don't know why, I just do. Um, they're all pretty good. That one's the worst out of them, I think. But overall it came out pretty nice. So that's going to do it for today. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Uh -oh.